Number six. It's a polygon. It's got four sides, but it cuts through here. Two triangles. Good. Okay, so the first triangle looks like this. And it tells me that this line is, that's my height, and it's five meters. Do we know anything about the base of that triangle? Mm -hmm. Yes, what is it? It's 10. 10, good. Okay. Good job. Then I have to choose what kind of formula will I use? Base times height. Good, base times height, but remember, base times height is for a rectangle or parallelogram, so I've got to divide by two. And again, I'm going to show you both ways. One might be easier than the other. Okay, these are two formulas exactly the same. One, you have a little bit more freedom. What's my base? Ten. Ten, thank you. What's my height? Five. Five, good. And we're going to divide that by two. Here we have half. My base is ten. My height is five. In this first one, we multiply 10 times 5, which is 50. 50. What's half of 50? 25. Good, 25. And my units are? Um, meters? Yeah, meters squared. Over here, take a look at this. Empty hands, eyes on the board. Because I have this half and this 10 and this 5, I can do it in whatever order I choose. So I'm going to choose to take half of 10. What's half of 10? So 5 times 5, 25. area is 25 meters squared. Same answer. Now, am I finished? No, I've only found the area of this. Now hold on. Do I need to work out how to find area of this one again? No. It's the same. So that means that I have two triangles that both have an area of 25 meters squared. 25 plus 25 is? So the total area is 50 meters squared. Because again, they're exactly the same. Now if you didn't believe me and you wanted to work it out again, no problem. You'd still come up with all the same work and you'd have a 25 meters squared plus 25 meters squared. Okay?